Hey guys, Blubber here, and today we are back for more future updates because it is my favorite series to do because it is my easiest series to do. Uh, speaking from the heart, be flesh it. But um, anyways, today we are going over more future updates. I believe last time we left off of the Durango and like the Hyundai Ionic Cube, blah, blah, blah. But today we are moving onwards. So first of all, we have the 2016 Buick Regal. I, I, I hope it's pronounced Regal. Sedan slash wagon base premium NGS. I've never once seen this car in my entire life. I assume they're probably just like not sold in Canada or they're not big in Canada. But yeah, I've never seen someone in these in my life. But I believe these are like Holden's in Australia or something. I've seen these in video games, just never IRL. And I I, I kind of like it. I'll, I might. I'll, I don't know if I'll keep one, but I'll for sure get one and try it out. It looks like a kind of cool car. Then next we have the 2022 Kia Carnival MPV, MPV LX, LXS, EX, SX, and SX Prestige. What about Ivy? I Ivy always knows what cars we want. Because this thing, okay, it doesn't seem like a cool car first, but this thing's actually really cool in like real life. I, I don't know how cool it's going to be in Greenwell, but like real life, this thing's so cool. Like I'd low key drive this in real life just because of how nice it is on the interior IRL. But such a cool car, I'm for sure going to buy this. Uh, maybe we can do a new Karen uh, Soccer Mom thing RP with this. Who knows? Um, then we have the 2011 uh, Saab 95 new generation four trims, the Turbo 4, Turbo 4 Premium, Turbo 6, and Aero, and seven rim options. And official name is going to be... Oh, wait. I have not even gone over the official names. My bad. Official names. Uh, first one, 2016 Bronson Noble. Se the Carnival. Kia the Carnival right here is with the 2022 Kombi uh, S Cyrus. Yeah, Cyrus. I'm also seeing... It looks like they have modified the logo on that, by the way, too. So that's kind of cool. And this could be the 2011 Olan Executive Gen 2. Okay, I am I I love Saab or Saab Saab. I don't know how to pronounce it. Saab Saab is just it, they they were such an underrated brand. I'm so sad that they're not around anymore. I think they like went back to like airplanes or something. I I know like the brand itself is still there. They just don't produce cars anymore. But their cars are always I always enjoyed the design of their cars. Their cars look pretty sleek. And I'm for sure gonna buy this car and have it for probably a while. This might be like one of my new daily drivers because I I just like the look of it honestly. Then with the 2017 Chrysler 200 completely redone from the ground up with the new model, tune sounds in a total of three front wheel drive trims, the LX Touring and Touring with Blackout package, five all wheel drive trims, limited premium 200S, 200S, Alloy Edition, 200S, KD Vine Edition, and 200 c and 11 rims. Which name is going to be the 2017 Chrysler Lotella. Now, I, I like this car, but in Greenwell, I just feel like right now, not, not this version, but the version we have currently, I just feel like it's very poorly modeled, so I never use it, but I'm for sure going to get this car when it comes out. I don't know if I'm going to get the KD Line Edition, though. That thing kind of scares me. Um, The KD Line Edition cars, uh, they're they're scary to say the least, but this thing looks super sick. I'm for sure going to get one. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I just, I've always, I've never been a fan of Chrysler, but like the 200 always stood out. It's kind of like a sleek car. That has a pretty outdated interior, but you gotta look past that. And Greenwell, they don't even have the interiors. But yeah, I'm for sure gonna get one of these. And yeah, I accidentally opened up uh, Origin. Excuse that. Anyways, so let me know what you guys wanna see next. Let me know what you guys wanna see next down in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.